Hello friends, how are you? Hope everyone is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 1, Integers, question number 11 to 20 of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. Section Mathematical Reasoning, question number 11. The value of x in minus 19 multiplied by in bracket 4 plus another bracket minus 2 equals to minus 19 into 4 plus minus 19 into x. Now normally average student will do first Remove this bracket, 4 plus minus 2 means it is plus 2 and then it will mi multiply with minus. So it becomes minus 38. Then here it is minus 19 into 4 that is 76 minus then plus minus 19x and then this is equal sign. Then find out the x <coughs> and x will be minus 2. This is what every student will do. We will not do that. See if you can see the equation here and if you know the distributed property. So this is nothing but minus 19 into in bracket 4 plus in bracket minus 2 equals to. If I take minus 19 comma <clears throat> so in bracket it is 4 plus x so minus 19 minus 19 get cancelled therefore x equals to if you compare this x will equals to minus 2 so answer is d don't do this way correct the first one this is for the average student not for us we are smarter next what will be the sign of product if we together multiply 199 negative integers and 10 positive integers? So there are two types of integers, negative and positive. We have to do multiplication and then tell the sign of the product. Now any positive integers multiply by any number of times. The sign here will be positive. But if we talk about negative integers, for example, minus 1 into minus 3, then it is plus 3. Another one, minus 1 into minus 3 into minus 2, then it is minus 6. Another one, minus 1 into minus 3 into minus 2 into minus 3 again, then it is plus 18. So you can see if there are two negative integers and multiplications then the sign is positive here there is 3 so this is these numbers are even here number is odd 3 then it is negative same way here again four numbers means even then the sign is positive so it means if even negative integers, then sign is positive. If odd negative integers, odd numbers of negative integers, then sign is negative. Correct? So this 199 negative integers, 199 means it is odd. So the sign of the product will be negative. Multiply by. 10 positive integers. Positive integers will always have a positive whether it's odd or even. So it is positive. Now negative multiplied by positive means different sign means negative sign. So answer will be negative. Therefore our answer for this question is negative. So our answer is A. Next. A collection of numbers which contains all positive numbers 
all negative numbers and 0 is known as. So it's a negative number, 0 and all positive numbers. That is nothing but integers. So see, these positive numbers are natural. Natural number plus 0 whole. And again negative in numbers, then this is known as an integers. That's what we have discussed. Next. Which pair of number does not have a product equal to 36? So let's see the options. Minus 4 minus 9. So both negative sign. Therefore, the product has a positive sign. So 36. So this has equal is 36. Therefore, this is not the answer. Minus 3 minus 12. 12, 3 are 36 and both are minus. So sign is plus. So equal. 36. This is not the answer. Minus 1 into 72. Even the product is 72. It's not equal to 36. So this is the our answer. And sign will be plus. Let's see D. So 1 into 36, 36. So this is equals to 36, not the answer. So our answer is C. Next. Which of the following options shows the integers arranged in descending order? Descending order means the largest one is first. And the smallest one is last that's the descending order so let's see the options minus 43 minus 37 so this one is small this one is large so this is in ascending side so not in the descending one so not the answer minus 43 minus 12 again ascending one so not the answer let's see for c1 18 that is the largest large 6 smaller one 0, another smaller one, minus 12, another smaller one, minus 37 is smaller than the minus 12 and minus 43 is the smallest. So C is the answer. Let's check for D. 18, larger, 6, smaller, smaller, again smaller, but this is greater than minus 43. So it is not in the order. So not the answer. Next. Which of the following number line represent minus 4, minus, minus 2? So basically minus 4, minus, minus 2 is nothing but plus 2. So an answer will be minus 2. Correct. So let's see number line. First it should start from 0. So yes, this is starts from 0. This is starting from minus 1. So this is not the option. B is out. This one is starting from 0, okay. This one is starting from 1, so not the option. So B and D is not the option. Let us check for A and C. First 0, then it is minus 4. So 0 to minus 4. So this is minus 4, okay. Let's see for this 0 to minus 4, okay. So both is okay. Then there is a minus of minus 2 means it is addition by plus 2. So it will move towards right side. So from option A, it moves towards right side by 2 units. So it reached to minus 2. Here is also minus 2 answer. So our answer is A. Let's see for C. Minus 4, it moves towards left side and becomes minus 6, which is wrong. Therefore, C is not the answer. If it is like this, minus 4 minus 2 or minus 4 minus 2 then minus 6 is the answer then this would be correct this is for minus 4 minus 2 next the absolute value of minus 28 plus 12 plus 42 minus 63 now absolute value means the answer is supposed to be in positive, whatever may be the integers, whether it's a negative or positive, the answer, absolute value is supposed to be positive. 
that means this b which is a negative is not the answer d which is a negative not the answer either a or c correct so let's see minus 28 plus 12 plus 42 minus 63 and it will be absolute value will be represented like this so let's simplify this minus 28 plus 12 so it is nothing but 28 minus 12 so 28 minus 12 is 16 minus 16 then plus 42 now just do quickly here rather than 42 42 minus 63 so 63 minus 42 so it is 1 and 2 so minus 21 so minus 21 now if you add up this it is minus 37 and absolute value is 37 so answer is a but if you see here see either option is smart way is this option is 37 and 145 too far then if you just quickly do you know minus 28 plus 12 so somewhere around you know 16 here somewhere around uh, minus 21 here is minus 16 minus 21 so it will be nearer to this cannot be this are you getting me what i am saying so rather than doing all those things you can quickly answer by seeing the options too next If A and B are integers, A is not equals to B, then which of the following is incorrect? Option number A, A plus B equals to B plus A. Yes, it's correct. So this is not the answer. A minus B equals to B minus A. No, it's it can't. Say 5 minus 3 equals to 2. We can't do 3 minus 5. It is minus 2. It becomes negative integer. So therefore, our answer is B. No need to go for C and D. Let's check just for understanding. A plus 0 equals to 0. Obviously. Uh, A plus 0 equals to 0 plus A. Not obviously. So A plus 0 equals to 0 plus A. Equals to A. Correct. A multiplied by 0 equals to 0. Here A minus 0 equals to A. Correct. Which, which is not equals to 0 minus A. Correct. That is what here. So, C and D is not the answer. Answer is B. Next. Everyday mathematics sections. Question number 19. In a test, four marks are given for every correct answer. And minus two marks for every incorrect answer. So, there is a negative marking. If you do wrong answer, you will be penalty punish so two marks punish that means minus two marks minus two award it or i will say two marks will be penalized deducted something like that asa answered where is asa asa answered all the questions and scored 26 marks though she got nine correct marks Varun also answered all the questions and scored two marks. Though he got five correct answers. How many questions did each answer incorrectly? So we have to find out the number of incorrect answer by Asha as well as Varun. So first let's talk about Asa. Asa, how many score? How many correct answer? Score is 26. That's the score. And 9 was the correct answer. So that means C is supposed to get 9 into 4, 36 marks. If there is no negative marking, if there is no penalty for incorrect answer. But unfortunately, she got 26 marks. That means 10 marks has been deducted. And every question, there were 2 marks deduction. Therefore, C gave 5 incorrect answer. That is by ASA. And if you see here, option 10. So out, A is not 
here 9 so b is not the answer here 5 so c is the answer here it is 4 if it is 5 then c is not the answer then but here it is 4 so d is not the answer so only c no need to check for varun however if you want to calculate we can calculate for varun score is 2 marks how many correct marks how many correct answer he got 5 correct answers. So 5 into 4, supposed to be 20 marks. Rather than 20, he got 2 marks. That means 18 marks have been deducted. That means if I divide by 2, 9 is the incorrect answer. Therefore, it is 9. Correct? Next. Ankus got rupees 500 on his birthday. On the next day, he got rupees 350 as pocket money from his father and spent rupees 275 on repairing his cycle. Next day, his sister gave him 170 as a reward. Now, how much money would he have? It's a very simple numerical. It's just addition, subtractions. So initially, Ankus had 500 rupees. Next day, he got 350 as a pocket money. So just add from his father, then spend 275. So deduct. And next day, his sister gave him 170. So add. Now, if you just simplify, you will get the answer. Say 500 plus 350, so 850 minus 275 plus 170. So 275 minus 170. Let's take the difference. So it is 1, then 0, 5. Now deduct. Sign will be minus. So this much rupees. So rupees 850 minus 105. So that means it is 5, 4, 7. So rupees 745, that means option A. That's all about the solutions of question number 11 to 20, chapter number 1, integers of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself, Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithalamacademy at the gmail.com. That is V-I-T-T-H-A-L-M A-C-A-D-A-M-Y at the rate gmail.com so thank you and wish you all the best